Welcome back to this new tutorial. Today we will create a small scene with Eevee Next. For this I'm using Blender 4.2 Beta. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we are in a fresh Blender scene, but we are in 4.2 Beta because we want to use today the new Eevee. So let's hop right in. We don't use the cube. But we want to use the anti landscape plugin, but unfortunately, it's not here in the beater. Maybe in the official version, it will be added. Uh, a little workaround is we hop here into 4.1 and use here mesh landscape. If you don't have this, just go to preferences and search here for landscape, anti landscape, and enable this one. Let's delete this cube here as well. Let's go with shift. A mesh and landscape and on the left side here under my my cycle circle here there will be a menu uh, let's hop into this one and we want to change this here now to Canyon okay this one is great let's select this one press ctrl and C copy objects and we want to hop here into the 4.2 beater and paste this yeah, another thing is this little guy, it's a pixel delivery guy, which is uh, not really detailed, but I think for our scene it will work here. Um, I will put a link into the description. Now let's go ahead here with the landscape. Let's press N. I want to change this one to 21.5 by 32.1. And in the Z scale, we want to go with 0.63. Okay, we have to rotate this in the Z value to minus 14. And now we want to add here a mesh plane, shift A, mesh and plane. And this one is 40 by 200. And we want to put this a little bit up in the Z, so point 0.2 is the right spot. Okay, our pizza delivery guy is a little bit here in the water, so we can put him a little bit up as well. So let's go with 0.2 in the Z here. The next thing is we want to go to curve and circle. Let's go to the data and geometry. Let's go to bevel. And then we want to go into the depth and enable or pump this one to 0.01. Let's put this to the right position and we want to go with 0 by 8.3 by 1.5. Let's rotate this in the X by 90. I want to scale this now up by pressing S. Let's go with 5.3 in the X and Y. Maybe something like this here. That's looking good. And now we can go ahead and adjust our camera. So let's hit into the camera by pressing zero on the numpad. Let's go with zero by minus 7.5 by 1.4, 90 degrees in the X, zero and zero in the rest. Okay, let's go into the camera setting. We want to go with a focal length of 25. Now we can start with some materials. So we want to select here our landscape. Bring in here the shade editor. And for this one, make a new material, material rock. For this one, we need only two textures. Uh, let's bring in here the rock texture and the normal GL. And we want to put this here now into the base color. And we have to add here with the node regular plugin, the add texture setup. If you don't have this enabled, go to preferences. And we have to go to add-ons and search here for Wrangler and enable this one. Okay, as we can see, this is not look good looking and we have to change this. Let's press the tab button and we have to go to UV and unwrap and this is looking much better now now we can bring in here the normal map so let's pipe this one here into the vector and this now goes to a normal map and into the color channel and this one goes now into the normal 
I like to bring this to 5 and increase the roughness to 0.6 so it's a little bit less glossy. Okay, now we can go ahead with our plane. So let's bring in the new material, water, and this is black. And yeah, we can turn down the roughness as well. Okay, as we can see, we have some reflection going on, but yeah, our guy is not reflecting. So we have to go into the EV settings here now and enable the ray tracing. This looks much better. Yeah, I like to increase here now the uh, samples to 64. Let's go into ray tracing and I want to go with one by one. So the reflections are a little bit better. Now let's turn up the maximum roughness. Now it's time for our ring. Uh, one thing which I totally forget is we can see that there is a little bit here so let's go back here and we can increase here the resolution up and for the rendering as well now everything is smooth let's make a new material material ring and I want to go to emission and increase the strength to 10 we can go into the rendering yeah, I like to change a little bit of the sky so we can go with this, this hex color here a little bit brighter and now we can bring in here a new mesh shift a and a cube which will be our fox so let's increase the dimensions to 50 and rename this to fog okay let's create a material for our fog let's like this one and press new Let's delete the B principal BSCF, press Shift A, search for volume scatter and bring this here together. Now we want to change this one here into a bluish color, something like this. And I want to change the anisotropy to 0.5. Okay, now we have to select here our light and change this now to uh, sunlight and bring this down to one and change the angle to zero as well. Now we can go into the settings and change this to 300 by minus 40 by zero. Let's add here some EV glow because we don't have any more of these cool settings. So let's bring a second window. I want to change this now to compositor, enable the use nodes. And now we can add here or search here for a glare node, bring this one in between and we have to enable these always here. Let's go now and change this here to bloom. And I want to go with high quality and let's go with the threshold of 5.3. And the last step is now we want to add here another light. So let's press shift and A and we want to go with a spotlight. This can be close here. Now let's see where the spotlight is. So this one goes now to 0.05 by 1.2 by 2. We can see that it's already in front of our character. Let's go with minus 90 and back into our viewport here. Or a camera view. Now we can go into the settings and increase this to 30,000. And yeah, we can see that everything goes up. We have to change this now by going into the object visibility and disable the volume scatter. We don't want to have this reflective here in the water. We can disable glossy as well. We have here some light from our uh, spot. So let's bring the size a little bit down to 41.1 and now everything is okay. And to create some depth, we can easily copy here our landscape. <clears throat> let's press shift and D escape. And now we have to put this one to zero by 30 by minus 0.4. Rotate this in the Z direction to 90 degrees. We want to scale this a little bit up. Let's go with 23.6 by 
57.8 by 1.5. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you want to support me, give me a like and a subscribe or check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.